going on, guys? It's your boy, Hunt Noobs, coming back at you with some more gameplay footage. And I say that, like, I punch the air and everything when I do that, guys. Maybe I have to do, like, a, uh, with my bloggy and just record me as I do a commentary because I talk with my hands, and it's so fucking hilarious. Like, I'm really talking to you guys. Like, I feel like I'm there with you right now. And since I'm there with you right now, where's your mom at? <laughs> What's up, baby? Can I get a fucking bologna sandwich? <laughs> oh, man, I'm happy to be back, guys. As you can tell, uh, I, I'm easily distracted when I talk about your mom, and I truly apologize about that, but, you know, it's a visual that I get, and it's it's a, it's nice. It's captivating, and hopefully I captivate you with my uh, hillbilly country accent commentaries. And look at a guy just fucking playing jump rope with my fucking bullets. I'm fucking spraying him. He's fucking spelling his name out. La N O O B. I don't know what the fuck was going on there. So, good news guys, other than <laughs> I don't know what the hell I'm thinking other than your mother. Uh, it's my computer's fixed. And hallelujah. Finally came back. I've actually had it for a couple days now and uh, I've had a few problems because once your hard drive goes out, guys, you lose all your programs. And I lost my Sony Vegas 9. And I went to back to, uh, I'm doing quotation, air quotation now, borrow it. Um, uh, it was no longer able to be, air quotation, borrowed. So I had to do a little hunting, uh, not the noobs, hunting around. And Fate tried to help me out a bunch. We just couldn't figure it out, couldn't get it done. And I found a video how to, air quotation, borrow uh sony vegas 11 so yeah so i have borrowed <laughs> it's so retarded i have sony vegas 11 boys and girls so um i'm actually able to do some editing and stuff like that and you know add some render settings or, or some uh some saturation and stuff like that but to be honest with you guys the only reason i have sony vegas is uh for is to stretch out my video to get rid of the black lines and stuff like that so uh, I really don't do any color saturation or color correction or anything like that, any contrast, soften, or anything like that, because when I have on my Hapog, uh, the, everything that I have set up on it that records is what you're looking at right now. So I feel like this is enough. I don't know. I don't, it seems like every time I try to fix it or make it better and stuff like that, people are screaming, my eyes, my eyes, and uh, I get tired of all the whining and shit like that. So... Um, I, I don't. The only thing I do is stretch out the video. So again, I'm happy to have it back. And the reason why I haven't uploaded a video other than that is because I can't get a gameplay, guys. Modern Warfare 3. Ugh. Yes, that is a sigh of frustration. It's just I, I really truly dislike the game. Uh, I know a lot of people are, you know, will, will beg to differ with me. They they enjoy the game. They some people actually believe that it's better than Black Ops. I highly disagree. Yes, you have your OP weapons on Black Ops, but it just seems like that, you know, when I was in a situation, I was able to get out of the situation. Um, I don't know. It's just me. It's just my preference, my opinion. Uh, by all means, they, they should have no factor in how you, your beliefs or your thoughts. And I'm not trying to piss anybody off or anything like that, so I'm not trying to start a debate. What is better, this or that? You know, I really can care less because it's about how I feel, think, say, and all that fun stuff. So, I finally got a good gameplay, and actually I got a couple since then. Uh, this gameplay here, I believe I go 34 and 2. Spoiler! And uh, I should have got the, the Pavo twice in a row without dying. You'll see later on where I, I was prone. I'm shooting a guy with the MK14, and somehow I die. I don't know, man. I, I really thought I had him outgunned. And, um, and I don't know, maybe it's just Modern Warfare 3. I don't know, fucking with me, like it always does. So, the gameplay is nice. The uh, hold on, I'm trying to read something real quick, guys. I'm sorry. I'm reading like I'm doing Sports Center and I'm doing bottom line reading and all that stuff while I'm trying to do a commentary and all that stuff, which is not highly recommended. So I'm sorry you lost my train of thought there for a second because, to be quite honest with you guys, there's not much of a train there. So, uh, back to what I was talking about, which I believe was the gameplay and my, my computer being fixed. So, uh, again, guys, I, I got my computer back. It's fixed. I got my Hapog CD back, so I'm actually, you know, obviously able to record, and I'm really excited about that. I think the CD cost me like $24, and and just give you guys a heads up, man. I'm not saying this is not that much money, but compared to what I spent, I spent like over $200 for my Hapog. On eBay, there is a Hapog without a CD going for $80, so you can get the Hapog for 80 and just call Hapog and. And buy the CD for $24, and you got a Hapog for over 100 bucks, which is something I wish I would have done. Um, 
or I wish I would have seen before I bought this because that's exactly what I would have done. It would saved me $100 plus. I don't know, just give you guys a thought, something you might want to do because uh, if anybody's looking to get serious in this um, video recording and, um, you know, commentating and stuff like that on YouTube, sorry, again, reading. So, uh, yeah, you know, get you a hub hog for 100 bucks, which is awesome. Uh, I'm happy to have Sony Vegas back. I'm happy to have my Paul back. I'm happy to have my fucking computer back. i um, happy because uh, last night I was playing some World at War, and uh, this actually is a bit of a segue into something I'm about to talk about, which makes no sense, I guess, is uh, my uh, montage. I was on World at War last night, and I was able to record, and I was so happy because I've lost so many montage clips since my computer has uh, went on vacation. Uh, I picked up a quad feed in World at War, um, and it's actually pretty special because it's a, a World at War, guys, for the people that never played before, and damn, say that fucking five times in a row, your tongue will be in three knots, and damn it, you motherfucker knocking down my pavlo right there. It's nice to see actually somebody on somebody's team, I wish they were on my team, that actually carries a javelin. It seems like every time I'm playing against somebody, somebody has a javelin and knock down my shit, but once they call on a pavlo, nobody on my team fucking has a javelin, and maybe I should carry one and stop complaining. So, uh, I don't know. Anyways, World at War, quad feed, uh, only 4z4, and it wasn't like a quad feed like a grenade or anything like that. It was a quad feed with like two things. It was a grenade and my weapon, but it was a quad feed in the, the feed. So what it was is I come around the corner, I seen a guy poking his head out the window. So I chucked a grenade up there, and he abandoned ship immediately because obviously he saw the uh, the grenade laying down right next to him. And as he landed outside the window, another one of his teammates came around the corner. Well, my grenade went off, blew those two guys up, and I shot the other two guys immediately after my grenade went off. So it was a legit quad feed. It wasn't a quad feed with a weapon, but uh, if for anybody that's ever played World of War, you guys know how hard it is to get four people in one area and knock them all down at the same time. So I know it was a pretty special quad feed. Uh, definitely going into my montage because it's just so hard to get quad feeds in general. And when you're playing in a game um, setup that is just 4z4, that makes it even more, all the more special to me. Um, so it'll be definitely one of my special clips when I put it in my montage. Again, which will be coming out in the next 35, 40 years. Uh, the main topic I want to talk to you guys about, let me go ahead and get into that because I, I seem like I've skipped it or it's put on the back burner, being put on the back burner, is uh, just a reminder, guys. FYI, reminder, and right here, look at this. I don't know how in the hell he killed me, man. Maybe the guy behind him killed me, but I should have definitely had both of those guys for my pavlo again. I don't know. It pissed me off uh, in the game. If, if you saw my mic on, you see I was cussing up a storm. Um, is Anyways, guys, back to the reminder is I'm doing an open lobby today at – 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, guys. I tried to make it a little bit where everybody can be involved on the West Coast and the East Coast. Uh, and it will only be for about an hour and a half. It'll be until like 5.30. So, guys, you know, my ally code will be in the description. Add me up. Um, be there or be square. Uh, for a lot of people that's been like, noobs, I'm trying to get some gameplays in with you. I'm going to do some sniper lobbies. I'm going to do some knife and only lobbies. I'm going to have my mic in. I'm going to be talking to you guys. Uh, if you want to get some recording in, have some fun. We might even do a little circle jerk uh, after it's all done. Uh, maybe a little bit of you scratch my back, I scratch your back lobbies. It's a party! <laughs> but again, guys, this is going to be the best way to get a hold of me because a lot of people that send me invites or want to get in my lobbies and stuff like that, they're like, uh, noobs, you don't ever join. I'm like, because I'm always in a full party, man. I'm always with the guys that, I, that I've been playing with pretty much the entire time of my Call of Duty history. Uh, it's just a fun group of guys. It's just it's just my Call of Duty friends, man, you know, my friends in general and all that fun stuff. So I apologize. You know, I, I, a lot of the people out there I don't know. And, and, and believe it or not, if I don't know you, I'm a bit shy. I know it doesn't sound like that when I'm on, uh, on the game and doing my commentaries and stuff like that. So get on there, guys. We're going to have fun. We're going to do sniper lobbies. I'm going to do some Wiimote sniping with the, um, the MSR. And try to do it without an ACOG, an aim assist. I'm going to do the uh, thermal scope. The thermal scope, man, it is unbelievable when it comes to Wiimote sniping. When you put stability on it and, uh, you know, it slows down the swaying and all that stuff. So, again, guys, 4 o'clock. I'm trying to do it after my Kentucky Wildcats. I hope I'm not um, uh, jinxing my team. After we beat LSU Tigers, which is about to start in a second. Again, guys, join me. It's your boy, Hunt Noobs. I'm out this bitch. Deuces! Woo! Get my son! And how'd you like that fucking intro? Fuck my-
Modern Warfare 3. 